properties of light, okay? Light waves uh, are different from other types of waves. It's unique. We can say that light waves are unique or different from other types of waves because light waves are the only types of waves. Light waves are the only types of waves that can uh, travel uh, in a space without medium. They do not need medium. Light waves can travel through air, through, through water. Also, they can travel without medium. So light waves do not need medium to travel through, not like sound waves or other types of waves. Right. In the previous lesson, we were talking about general properties of light waves or la of light waves, okay? Please, if you understand this page, inshallah, if we understand this page and the important properties of light waves, we can understand the whole lesson. So please concentrate with me and uh, it's very easy, inshallah, don't worry. Uh, concentrate well with me and keep your attention with me because this page is very important. Bye. The first uh, thing that we you have to know about light waves first. Okay, light waves are a type of transverse waves. As we mentioned in the previous lesson, there are two patterns or two types of waves, transverse waves and longitudinal waves. Light waves are transverse waves. They are not longitudinal. Right. Light waves, like other waves, they transfer energy. So this is the first property of light waves. They are a type of transverse waves. Two light waves tra tra transfer energy. Of course, this property or th this characteristic is common or uh, with other types of waves. All other waves also transfer energy. The more, wait, wait, Malak, wait. But they do not need a medium to travel through. This is one of the most properties of light waves that make this property makes light waves different from others. This, this property distinguishes light waves from other types of waves. They do not need a medium to travel through. They can travel in the space. And for this reason, sunlight, sunlight comes to Earth because sun is very, very far from Earth. And sun, uh, sunlight comes from space. If light waves can't pass through space or if light waves need a medium, so sunlight impossible to reach Earth. So sun uh, light waves do not need a medium to travel through. OK. Light can be modeled as traveling in rays. Light waves travel in rays. What is a ray? A ray, a ray is a line of energy that continues in one direction until it hits an object. So light waves or the ray of light travel in a line okay they move in a line of energy and they continue in their direction they will never stop until something hit until they hit something like this light waves travel in a straight line of energy like this okay they travel in a straight line this each line is called ray we can say that rays of rays of sunlight. Can, did you hear this word before this time? Rays of sunlight. Okay, this is a, these are rays of, of light. They travel in a straight line. Okay, Taib, they continue in their direction until something hits them, like a wall, for example. When they hit a wall, they stop. And we will talk about what happened to light waves. Light waves, when they hit an object, there are uh, different things happen to, to them. It depends on the surface that they hit. Okay. 
uh, again, light waves travel uh, in straight lines or rays. It's called a ray is a line of energy that continues in one direction until it hits an object. Right. Light rays, when light rays, when they hit an object, they can be reflected, refracted. Please remember these words. Remember these words. They are very, very important. Reflected. Light waves can be reflected when they hit an object or who is writing the board? Time. Okay. Light waves can be ref ref reflected, refracted, or absorbed. These are the three plus possibility, uh, possibilities of light waves or the ray of light when it hits an object. It can be reflected or refracted or absorbed. Time. Look here, please. There are three important uh, uh, three important properties of light waves. They can be reflected. And when light waves are reflected, it's called reflection. Okay? Light waves also can be refracted. I will explain what is the meaning of reflection or a reflected refraction or absorption now inshallah but i want to do, want you to know that there are th three important things of light waves they can be reflected when light waves are reflected it's called reflection or refracted and when they are refracted it's called refraction okay and finally Light waves can be absorbed by the surface that they hit. Absorbed means uh, when they are absorbed, it's called absorption. Okay. Type. What is the meaning of reflection? What What do you mean by the word reflected? What is the meaning of refraction? And what is the meaning of absorption? Type. Let's start with refract, uh, reflected. Okay. As I mentioned, that light waves light waves travel in a straight line. This line is called array. Okay. Pi. Some surfaces or some objects, when light waves or the, the ray of light hits an object, some types of objects or some types of surfaces can reflect the light. Pi. What happens when light is reflected? Okay. When it hits an object like this, okay. Suppose that this is a surface. Light waves, when they are reflected, they change their direction like this. Okay, they bounce off. Okay, this is called reflection. Okay, they can reflect it to this direction or to this direction. So this is, this is that's what we mean by reflected. Or it's called reflection. Pi. Time. Look here, please. Light waves, light rays can be reflected, refracted, or absorbed. The first thing, when rays reflect, when light waves reflect, or bounce, the word reflect means bounce off a surface. Bounce of a surface. Okay, they move in a new direction as I I show here, uh, I, I draw here. Like this. 
they draw pi again again please this is a light ray okay this is a ray of light when it hits an object okay it is reflected sometimes not every not all times light waves can be reflected so they are bounces of a surface they are bounces of a surface okay in this direction or in this direction this is called this process is called reflection right so when a light wave or a light ray bounces off a surface it changes uh, its direction or it go in a new direction this process is called reflection right not every time you have to know that not every time light waves reflected from the sometimes they are refracted and we call this refraction sometimes light waves refracts light waves refract time another way that gives the same meaning of refract bend light waves or light rays sometimes bend or refract when they enter a new medium this happens when they enter a new medium i and will i will tell you what is the meaning when they enter a new medium time when they enter a new medium the, the way light refracts depends on the medium on the type of matter it passes passes it through time look here please suppose that this is a water or a river suppose that this is a water okay like for example a lake or a river okay this is a water and this is air type light waves as you see as you know for example come from the sun to the air this is the sun as i told you that uh, light rays come from the sun in empty space to the earth okay they enter the atmosphere okay now when light waves move from media medium to another different medium air is a medium and water is a different medium okay air is a medium okay and water is a different medium Bye. when light waves when light waves okay or light rays move from medium like air to different medium like water what happens to them they are refracted they are not reflected they are refracted and we call it refraction what is the meaning to refracted they bend type Shuyani bend like this. For example, they do not complete their way in a, they don't move when they travel from a medium like air to different medium in water, they do not continue in a in a straight line. They bend like this. So light waves bend like this. This is called refraction, uh, refraction. They are refracted. They do not move. Con they do not continue their direction in a straight line. As I told you that light waves or light rays always move in a straight line or rays type. So when they enter a new medium, they change their direction or refracted or bend because there is a difference between air and water. This process is called refraction okay this is called refraction okay so so they do not continue in their direction again when light rays travel from a medium to different medium 
like from air to water okay suppose that light enters from air to water they do not continue in a in a straight line they refracted this process is called refraction okay right uh, i want to tell you something important that not all uh, uh, again uh, light rays bend or refract light rays again bend or refract when they uh, enter a new medium for example from air to water or from water to air the way light refracts depends on the medium on the type of matter it passes through time for example a prism have you ever seen what is a prism do you know what is a prism this is this this is called a prism look here This is called prism. I don't uh, know if you if you know what is a prism. This is a, a a material made from glass. When light enters, when light enter this prism, what happens to it? It is refracted. Refraction happens. What happens to this? This is a white light. This is light wave. It is refracted, and it is separated. This this light is separated into seven colors the rainbow rainbow colors this machine or this tool is called a prism it is used it is made from glass you can find it uh, you can buy it from different uh, places uh, this prism when light enters the prism what happens to it light refracted refraction happens and it is separated into the colors that you know rainbow colors orange yellow red violet uh, blue the seven colors of we call them rainbow right and what happens the same thing the same thing happens when you see rainbow in the sky when sunlight after after it is raining after the rain light waves from the sun enter the drops of water okay there are raindrops look what happens why rainbow forms the question why rainbow why does rainbow form okay what happens or what why rainbow form forms look after it rains light rays come okay sunlight or light rays come and as you know there are rain drops in in the atmosphere in the air when light waves enter the the, uh, the rain drop they are refracted and separates into the colors of rainbow the seven colors orange red yellow whatever okay right. again uh, light waves as i told you that not always when light waves or light rays bend or refract they when they enter from medium to different medium and this refraction depends on the type of medium this refraction depends on the type of the matter it passes through for example some types of materials like the prism as i as it is shown in your book a prism is a geometric object okay that bends light prism is made from a glass it bends light when light enters the prism it is refracted or bends when white light and refracts through the prism what happens it separates into different colors like those in the photo to the seven colors that we call them rainbow right what happened the third property of light is called absorption sometimes 
sometimes when light hits an object, it is absorbed. When light hits an object, but it's not reflected or bent. When the light hits an object and it is not reflected or refracted, it is absorbed. What is the meaning of absorbed or absorption? To absorb means to take in. Yani that means this object takes the light. So the light enters this object and stay in this object. Light is taken. Absorbed, to absorb means to take in. The light that is absorbed by something is no longer visible, like this. For example, sometimes a light enters an object, okay? This is an object, for example. When light enters this object, it is not reflected or refracted. It enters the light. It enters this object, so it is absorbed by this object. It is absorbed by this, by this object, okay? Right. So there are three important properties of light when it uh, it hits the object it may be it may be reflected when it is reflected it is bounces of the object and change its direction the light may be refracted okay when it is refracted it is uh, bend it is bend okay and uh, they are refracted when light uh, is refracted or it is called refraction and it depends it depends on the type of matter it it hits okay some types of objects like the prism refract light and separate it into different colors and finally light when it hits object can be absorbed or taken type we have five minutes uh, I'm sorry today, يعني عشان الحصة تأخرت عشان صار لنا مشكلة. بدي أشوف uh, بدي أشوفكم إذا است uh, if you is it okay or not. طيب I will uh, give you the chance to talk. طيب. I understand. I understand. Okay, is it okay? I understand. Yeah, it's I understand. Okay, wait. I will. I'll send you, inshallah, 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 today or maybe tomorrow a video, but please watch it. Okay. I understand. Okay, Hadia, do you have any question? Teacher, I don't understand. Okay, don't, don't worry, don't worry, Hadia. Lana, do you have any question? No. Is it clear? Yeah. طيب, inshallah, راح نكمل. عشان إنه ما ضل معي وقت في عندي حصة ثانية. طيب, يعطيكم العافية. مش مش. Don't worry.